everybody. Welcome to Extreme Gaming with Turk February. This ain't your grandfather's Extreme Gaming show. Your grandfather's Extreme Gaming show was canceled because he was caught using performance-enhancing drugs while trying to set a world record playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, speedrunning it. He was forced into early retirement. And now, now I have the extreme gaming. Uh, so yesterday you guys said no more Dan Sobel. Um, you know, you guys watch the show. I don't, so uh, I, I got to listen. If you guys don't like Dan Sobel, I, I was hoping he could be like sort of a mascot for this show, but hey, the people don't like Dan Sobel. Uh, not much I can do about that. On an unrelated note, uh, I was digging through some rare hip hop, and uh, I found a kind of an interesting rapper. I'm just quickly going to share a little chunk of a song here, see if you guys like it. Uh, his name is DJ Discman Dan. No more Dan Sobel, but maybe some uh, DJ Discman Dan. Uh, today, I'm going to try. Oh, shit, that lost that lost me all my concurrent viewers except one. Damn, you guys really hate Dan, huh? All right. Hedgehog Toss. Uh, here, let me turn the volume down because this is just going to be loud. I might actually end up just muting it because the sound in this game is... Pretty obnoxious. Now, I was always under the impression, growing up, that the absolute lowest number of days you can take in-game to launch your hedgehog was three. And then, when I was doing my master's in university, I was bored, fucking passing time, pretending I was listening to something. I got it in two. And then I figured out how to get it in two. So, today we're going to keep going until I hit two. It's not going to be immediate. A lot of it is luck because it's, you know, procedurally generated or whatever. It's random. But let's see how long it'll take us to get to the moon. Ooh, this is really laggy. I might have to switch to new grounds. I don't think the congregate version would be that different. Okay, that sucked. We are not gonna get it in two. We're not even gonna get it in three this time. I might just restart. You know what, I'll play it through for those of you guys who've never seen this game before, just so you kind of get an idea what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get a hedgehog to the moon. Is it doable? It's doable in two moves. We're not going to get two moves this time.
You know what? I should see if Congregate will let me turn the quality down. Because that might speed it up. It shouldn't be going this slow. thing is, I tested it earlier today, and it wasn't like this. But I tested it on new grounds. Congregate just gives me more freedom with, like, window size and stuff. No. Nope. All right, shot number three. Um, let's get some band strength there. So your score is the coins you collect plus the platforms multiplied by something of your height and then multiplied by something of how long you stay in the air. The point is to go as high, to go as long, and to collect as much shit as they all contribute to your score in one way or another. I mean, I don't really have to explain it. It's not a complicated game. Oh, we didn't get a lot of height, but did get pretty good time. Didn't collect much, so that's the biggest factor, I think. Well, getting really good time. After this, I'm going to start canceling runs where uh, I don't get a high enough score on the first day just to speed this up a little bit. But for now, we're going to try and do it the normal way. See how long a normal run would go. This hedgehog sucks. So ten bucks, forty seconds. I got three thousand feet. That sucked dick and I'm on like day three day four I should be doing way better than this um yeah let's go for height moves the slingshot so I can pull it down further so I can start a little higher So Jackie Singh has a new article out. She's trying to uh, coin a new term. Which is, s s hang on, how do I pronounce it? sa a p p uh, She's basically outlining her own tactics and claiming other people do it to her and Patrick S. Tomlinson. 
She says that the uh, the fact Patrick uh, had to pay for the legal fees of the other guy after losing a lawsuit is a grave injustice. <laughs> no, he's a. Oh, I forgot. My lawyer friend told me the term. Uh, something litigant. What is it? It's a, it's a funny word too. Uh, but yeah, he's he's acting in bad faith with the lawsuits. And uh, yeah, of course he should pay for the fucking poor people who have to defend themselves, the innocent people who have to defend themselves. Gets this frivolous fucking lawsuits. Something big is going on down the pipeline. One of uh, Dan Mullen's friends suggested that uh, Patrick might be going back to court this time as a defendant, which kind of tickles me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, I'd love to see Pat back in court. All right. The E-Rocket should help a bit with the height, but ideally I should have to... Got to remember there's a purple platform there, which is the 10 points, which I really fucking need. But I'm not going down that low yet. Centered. Not really. There we go. Is this as exciting to watch as it is to play? Hopefully this will be the last run. We got two E rockets. We got good height. Should be getting to the moon momentarily. not even need both rockets. All right, that's the moon. So what we need to do is that again, but instead of in whatever that was, six or seven turns, we need to do it in two. And it takes a shitload of luck 
and a little bit of just remembering where coins and platforms were before. So let's restart story mode. And let's do a shit. Anybody remember who that guy was on YouTube who used to do bingo streams to literally zero audience? I'm starting to feel a bit like him. We just call bingo, and there'd be zero concurrent viewers. Uh, Medicare covered him in a st live stream, I think. Or it might have actually been uh, an edited video. All that was a very long time ago. All right, that was not great, but not a very, uh, not a bad start. I might not be able to do this in two, but I might be able to do this in three, which, you know, is moving in the right direction. Ooh, wait. Oh, shit. I wish I had that. I need one of those. So yellows are five points, they, they shoot higher. Purples are 10. Uh, blues are 25 cents, so not even a full point. Greens are one. And uh, yeah, how high they launch you is proportionate to how many points you get. All right, what did I get on day one? This is pretty good for a day one. This buys me two rockets and launches me higher. Um, not expecting to win on this run, but expecting to do a lot better than last time. Oh shit, I might do it. It's possible. I think I got it. I think I got it. There's the moon. Ah oh, shit, 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 shit. Come on, moon. Fuck. I'm so close. No! No! If I hit either one of those, I would have gotten it. Oh. No. That was so close. That was so crazy freaking close. Huh. Fuck. Now I'm all out of fuel. Can't even uh, rock it around. So yeah, this run's going to be three days. That's all right. Would have sucked if I got it on the second try. It would have been a short, very short stream. stronger and let's do that shouldn't even need any platforms at this point
All right. Three turns. Still got to get that two-turner. Came very close. Very close. So. The fuck is this? Uh, it's Hedgehog Launch 2. It's in the title. Come on, Wiz. Hey, Wiz, how come you're never on your own forum? You got a lovely forum. I'm never on it. The guy was gifted the sub forum. It's one of the most active sub forums on the R. Opiate Anthony uh, subreddit forums. It doesn't even go there. It's ungrateful. So yeah, I'm already out of rockets. This is not going to be a great run. Yeah, I'm going to cancel out of this one. It'd be a waste of time. Which Wes Anderson? Because, oh wait, uh, am I thinking of, hang on, I gotta look this up. Am I thinking of Wes Anderson, or am I thinking of somebody else? Yeah, there's two different Wes Andersons, aren't there? Here, I'm gonna do this. Okay, here, let me double check here, because I wanna, Make sure I'm not just talking out of my ass. As I do sometimes. Wes Anderson. Oh, my bad. Paul W.S. Anderson. Now, Wes Anderson would be great. Uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, or sorry, Paul Paul W. S. Anderson would be spectacular. I'd be so honored to have the man who directed Mortal Kombat direct the story of my life. Grand Budapest, oh yeah, Here, here's the thing. I understand that he's great because he did Boogie Nights. No, he didn't do Boogie Nights. He did the Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah, that one I saw. And uh, what was the other one with uh, Ben Stiller? Yeah, no, nah, just never really appealed to me. Fantastic Mr. Fox was fine. Like, oh shit, I forgot. I Got to cancel out of this run. Restart. Starting all over. Height, it's banned. I always mute this game, so I didn't even remember that it had like surf rock in the background. For some reason, I always mute flash games because the fucking sound in them. It's usually encoded in like 40, 40 bit, what is it, bits per second? Kilobits per second. Always sounds like shit. And I understand like Flash was an early streaming thing and like internet was anything but consistent. But. Couldn't they have just, like, let the the viewer pick <laughs> what rate the sound and the video streamed at? I 
All right, not getting many points, but getting some time and some height out of these. I, I, I don't think this is going to be a good run. Might have to restart again. Yeah. That was not great. I'm not even going to check how many points I got because there's no way that one's going to work out. Remember, the goal is two days. Getting to the moon in two days. I know it's possible because I've done it many times. In fact, I've done it today. It took me years to do it the first time. But after that, you just kind of learn when to bail. And eventually, the Macromedia Flash action script will take mercy on you. and give you a good run. Actually, one of these days, just for a goof, I should uh, play one of the games I made as a kid in Flash. Maybe just not even tell you guys. Just have it be a fucking mystery. I always wanted to do a shitty Newgrounds videos and games stream. Because there's just so much shit on Newgrounds. Like, you got to remember, people up have been uploading, like... People have been uploading, like, hundreds and hundreds of videos a day. Maybe even a thousand videos a day. Every day. For... What is it? 20. It's got to be. It's, it's got to be 25 years. So like just the volume of shit on there. It's pretty unimaginable. And unlike YouTube. There was there was like one guy moderating the whole thing. Wade Fulp. All right. I know I'm not going to get it, but might as well just try. Two rockets is pretty good for day two. Play Oblivion. Oblivion is not a DOS game. Now, what's the arena one? Maybe. Maybe that one. Am I going to get the moon? I'm very close to the moon. I am 200 feet from the moon. Come on. Oh, shit. Another close one. Close but no cigar. Shit. Oblivion's too long, too. You can't just pick up and play Oblivion. Remember, I, 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 I don't go over an hour and a half, typically. I need nice, short games. Prince of Persia is a good one. You have an hour to beat a game. Great. Maybe I'll play one of the Sanics. Wasn't there a DOS attempt? I remember uh, Epic Games tried to rip off Sega, and they made Jazz Jackrabbit. Jazz Jackrabbit was their attempt at Sonic. He's just like Sonic, but he has a gun. All right, I'm going to restart. Let's do a quick run here. And if I don't get this in two days, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to take a break. Oh, I guess the blue platforms are a dollar. 
I thought they were 25 cents. I guess the coins are 25 cents. Wait, the green one's a dollar. Oh, it is 25 cents. The fuck? Am I, am I going colorblind? Is it possible to go colorblind? Yeah. Uh, Kroll Apazo. I have no idea why uh, Sonic has become the thing that it has. It is utterly bizarre. It's like you don't see that happening to other corporate mascots. I mean, with Tony the Tiger, I guess, but that was mostly a goof. All right. This is looking very promising, guys. I think this stream might end soon because as soon as I get the two-day win. And this looks like a two-day win to me because what was that? I'm already at 50 bucks. I got up to 6,000 feet and coming in on a minute and a quarter. This looks like a two-day win. Okay, so with that, I can buy two rockets, which is usually all I need to win. A lot of height, a lot of band, a lot of width. This is a win. If I somehow fuck this up, it, it, this is unfuck upable. Completely unfuck upable. Two-day win. Two-day win on Hedgehog Launch to Documented right here on Extreme Gaming. I'm sure you guys thought it couldn't be done. It got done. Learn to fly? Was that with the penguin? Yeah, that was with the penguin, right? All right. I'm going to let this hedgehog drop. I'm going to get myself a beer, and maybe we'll play a little Learn to Fly. How's that sound? Because I thought that was going to take far longer, far longer than uh, it did. Almost got it on the second try. So I'm going to let that hedgehog drop. Uh, let's uh, reconvene here in four minutes.
All right. Sorry about that. And let's see if we can find a learn to fly. Because I do remember that game quite fondly. Here, I'll, uh, but where's that at? Congregate. Why am I on congregate? Oh, there it is. Right there, first thing. Now, do I go with one, two, or three? I think three kind of got out of, out of control with, uh, uh, the kind of shit you can get. You can just get a helicopter or something. Gets, gets a little confusing. All right, Learn to Fly by Gordon Freeman. And it's just as choppy as the other one. You know what? Let me try a different website. Let me try Armor Games because I don't get this kind of... Oh, not Arner. Armor games. Shit. What is going <laughs> with this thing? Armor games. <laughs> Kitty update. Well, Kitty, yeah, he's streaming. Pretty much every day on kick. Uh, I'm not really watching because he streams for 17 hours and uh, plays copyrighted music, plays his guitar, uh, complains about stuff, and uh, he's just a deeply, deeply unpleasant person. I, uh, I have no, no particular desire to follow up on uh, Kitty Style. Um, he sure likes uh, dropping my name, though, because it gives him something to bitch and whine about. He is not happy about the documentary, still. And by the way, that documentary had one view on Rumble. One view. Until he mentioned it. Oh, shit, I'm getting the same choppiness I was getting on Congregate. Oh, I can turn down the quality, at least, on this site. Will it speed things up? Yeah, okay. Now it's moving at a proper speed. But yeah, uh, he doesn't call himself Kitty anymore. Now he's Potato. Uh, he worships the potato because reasons. Um, something about growth and potential. He's trying to start a cult, I think. Which I think has kind of been his, uh, what he wanted most in life. First one is the best, really? All right, uh, then let me switch it up. Uh, Lure to fly, I think that's one. For some reason I remember these being a lot bigger. Why am I running ads? Fucking been streaming for four, four years. Never got ad block. I got that fucking. Oh yeah, you got to use the keyboard in this game. So I need to get my coat hanger. <laughs> I need to put my microphone to coat hanger. When we move the show, I'm gonna get a camera so you guys can see this ridiculous setup. The coat hanger microphone stand. Uh, I mean, I have a headset. Um, I just need to fix my uh, audio port. But honestly, talking to a coat hanger is so much funnier. I think it might, if we uh, go to like Twitch or something, I think it will make for a very funny visual. All right. Ooh. So, what's a good score in this game? 
because I know it's like a million freaking runs for me every single time. I don't know if I'm bad at it or if it's just a long game. Okay, I gotta travel 40 feet, fly up to 10. Okay, uh, let's do this. Prees and Kitty. I mean, there has to be somebody who can answer that question. Um, I mean, who else was on there? Prees and Ralph. I'm sh I'm sure if Kitty was one of the most watched channels, there's got to be someone on there who remembers. Kitty has interesting memories of his time on Twitter. Dozen days. That sounds impossible to me. Now, would the smart thing have been to save up for a glider instead of buying things I can't use without it? Oh, come on. I need 50. Oh, I got 50. Fucking... Nice math there. I mean, in theory, there were at least five people on there because there was a top five, right? Ah, shit. All right. Can I fly up up to 10 feet at this point? Probably not, right? I'm probably going to need rockets for that. Uh, All right. Now we're making some proper money. Maybe I can get... No, I can't. Shit. Uh, wait. Do I need rockets before acceleration even matters? Oh my god! Why didn't you guys say something? How long has, uh, how long has the game been off? I feel like a dick. I'm on day seven and I'm still here. You you say you did the whole game in 12. I might need to start having guests on. All righty. Still can't afford a rocket, but... Just got a cheapy here, and hopefully. What's with the party boy from Jackass music? While uh, we're flying. You're telling me, in three more days, a normal player of this game could be beat, could have beaten it. Uh, that fucking horrifies me. All right. So let's go up. Oh, I've played this game many times. I, I I know. Let's see if I can get the speed and the altitude. Altitude, good. Oh, that's it? All right. 
Let's get rid of that air resistance and see if we can get speed. Forty-three plus a hundred plus another hundred. That was a pretty good run. Can I get the no? Can I get this no? All right. What do I still need to get on this level, or did I get everything? Seventy miles per hour. Huh. Okay. Let's see if getting a little height first. Going down. Oh no, because I have a max speed of like 50 here. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna need the other, the next, the paper airplane thing. Oh. What said I was going 45? Rocket fuel, could use some of that. Could use some of this. But now I definitely need to get the freaking paper airplane thing. Shit. What what was the paper airplane game? Do you remember that one? It's a li it's kind of similar to this, but you toss a paper airplane. <clears throat> You like go to different countries, throw the paper airplane around. Take, is it like take flight? That was, it. oh shit. I can stop paying attention for one second and the penguin goes to the water. Oh, it was just called flight. Yeah, I, I got pretty good at that game. Like in a single run, I could get every achievement. I think it, it was like that one in eight days. It's kind of amazing. Just like these super simple flash games. Just time needed to be killed. Time had to be killed. There was no other options growing up. So you get really good at fucking to the moon or uh, the helicopter game. That'd be a good one for next time. I've never played Last Stand. What was that one? That wasn't a zombie truck game, was it? Because I remember that one. Last stand. All right, things should get significantly easier now for a while. Yeah, I knew it had zombie survival shooter. I'm sure I've played it. I just it doesn't uh, stick out to me. Remember, there's a really fun one where you're in like a truck, and it's sideways. Uh, it's sideways view, and you have to level up your truck to get further and further in the levels. I remember really liking that one. It's a great time killer. Might have to check out Last Stand at some point. 
because now it's like an itch. You know that feeling where it's like you know that you know something. It's just like an itch in your brain. Reach 100 miles per hour. Easy. I can do that. I think. There we go. I don't know what you'd even call... Because, like, I know Flash games have genres on their own. But there's so many games that are just slowly upgrade until you finish game. Like, it's like hundreds of games like that. In fact, I'd say, like, almost a majority of Flash games are just do the same thing over and over again with slight upgrades until finished. No. I don't know if uh, that's had a lasting impact on how games are made. Like, um, to be honest, I don't play many mobile games. I don't know if that's translated into that. It's really a shame. All these games are the indiest of indie. This is the punk rock of video game making. It's one guy, doesn't particularly care how it looks, just wants to make a little game. And they did. Some of them probably never saw much money. Although, interestingly, in Exile, do you remember Line Runner? Line Runner is made by In Exile Studios, the guys who made Fallout and the guys who made Wasteland. So, apparently, some video game developers just went into uh, into Flash games for a while. So, maybe there was a business, like a viable business model somewhere in there. I never know, like, what's a better trade-off between height and speed. That's probably not... Oh, okay. All right, that's great. That means we get the final plane. We get maximum ramp height. And now we just got to do the distance runs. The distance runs are kind of brutal. Like the last one, there's like, it, it is insanely freaking long that it expe expects you to go to crash into a freaking iceberg. Spoiler alert. It might be Line ru uh, Rider. Yeah. The guys who made Wasteland, Wasteland 2, Wasteland 3, uh, the original Fallout, Fallout 2. Brian Fargo worked on Line Rider. Uh, th that seems f so fucking crazy to me. I mean, at that point, like, do you really need a whole studio to make a Flash game? You look at most of these, the credits are two guys, and uh, 
Usually one of them just makes the music. Okay, travel. Oh, so I got to do distance. Where does it show how far I've traveled? Got to look a little. Oh, I've cut it off. That's the problem. There's the problem. Okay. All right, this is definitely doable. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, got the distance. This sounds so much like the Chris Pontius Party Boy theme. Why would they put that in this game? Let's go for the rockets. I think those are more important than air resistance at this point. Oh, I didn't reach 150 miles an hour. That's something. Okay, now I did. Wait, is that the smartest way to fly? Just stay as low and just kind of bob up and then bob down? Because I'm getting way better distance than I ever did on the other runs. So it's just hit maximum speed and stay low. Is that the secret? Let me try that again. Six thousand feet and up. All right, let's go up. Get the last thing that we can buy, and then the six thousand feet, so we can hit the iceberg.
shit. Just need a thousand more feet. To keep that altitude. Okay, great. We're good. We are good. Fuck that penguin. All right, that has been uh, Extreme Gaming. Uh, wasn't going to play uh, Learn to Fly, but hey, that was a bit of nostalgia there. Yeah, um, next time we'll do some other shiz. I don't know. And uh, moving soon, so follow me on Twitter to see where I'm going. Bye.